All right, so Uncanny X Men number 527 by Matt Fraction with art from Wills Portacio. And Portacio, oh, but the cover is Terry Dodson, I should say that. Um, Portacio's artwork is generally really pretty, uh, but sometimes you'll see he, he's got some trouble with like hands and faces and sizes of that. The, the issue is part two of the Five Lights story, which focuses on Hope's evolution as a mutant messiah. Um, the last issue, they finally began to focus on Hope as the savior of mutant race. And Matt Fraction's begun to delve a little bit into Hope's character and uncovering who she is and detailing where she came from. So in the last issue before this, in 526, we met her parents and things like that. And here, we are learning that she is the savior of the mutant race and she is saving mutants in her own way. Um, I had a couple of problems with the characterization of Emma Frost in this issue. And while I liked Hope a lot, the stuff with Hope has been really cool. I, I'm really enjoying exploring her character, Emma. I feel like Fraction's got Emma all wrong. There are points throughout the story where she seems a little less like the teacher she's supposed to be, and rather like she simply couldn't be bothered by her students' problems. And Emma Frost is generally pretty cold, but this was just outright bitchy. Um, this is particularly evident in her interaction with Colossus in the scene where Colossus wanted to communicate with Kitty Pride. The cover depicts Emma Frost embracing Namor, which isn't exactly misleading because toward the end of the issue there is a scene where they eat sushi, of all things, together and Namor asks, how much longer will you pretend to care about Scott Summers? And Emma doesn't really deny or confirm his statement. or So I kind of wonder if she's really in love with him. While the previous issue was very well organized and pretty well written, I just don't think I'm crazy about Matt Fraction's interpretation of Emma Frost here. To me, she reads as being whiny and phony, and I just really didn't like that. I gave this issue a 2.5 out of 5, even though I'm really enjoying uh, that we're finally beginning to learn more about Hope and her powers, and it was great to see Kitty Pride again, considering she was so absent during Second Coming, but I felt this issue was less about Hope and more about Emma, and I just didn't like the way Emma was written. But I want to know what you guys think, and uh, if you're reading Uncanny X-Men, uh, let me know. And do, do you like the way the story is moving, the direction of the story? And uh, let me know what you think about Hope and whether you really think she is the mutant messiah.